we got a call early in the morning, an invitation to join a convoy on a mission that no one would reveal. Our destination was a prison which sits in a heap on the banks of the Nile. It's where the political prisoners are kept. And it's where the generals who run this country put Sudan's longtime dictator, Omar al-Bashir, when they toppled him nine weeks ago. Now they're going to try him. The prosecution of Omar al-Bashir is the one thing that all people in this country agree on, and that's why we're here. This is what the military want us to see. We were the only foreign journalists at Kober Prison, and we watched as al-Bashir, clad in national dress, make his way to a waiting vehicle. It was his first public appearance in months. The convoy reformed and sped to the state prosecutor's office where the 75-year-old was due for questioning on charges of corruption and possession of foreign currency. However, the former tyrant, seen here in January, will not be sent to the International Criminal Court. He's wanted on multiple counts, including genocide, for the deaths of hundreds of thousands in the province of Darfur. But the generals say he's staying put. Justice, it seems, will be done in Sudan, although some officials weren't keen on us witnessing it. Still, the ruling generals think the prosecution of al-Bashir is the best way to win over the public. Are you surprised to be here, Mr. al-Bashir? was only in there for about 10 minutes, giving a statement to the country's prosecution authorities. We think he's going straight back to jail. What a very gratifying scene for the former president. <laughs> Pro-democracy activists accused the military of trying to distract the public after dozens of protesters were shot. But a leading general in the ruling council told Sky News they were troublemakers. Don't believe anything you, ca you can see because these people, they are very smart. They know how, how, how the international community thinks and they give them what, what they want. We are military, we were not in the civil life. Omar al-Bashir dominated this country for decades, but the struggle for power has moved on and his future will be decided by the winner. John Sparks, Sky News, Khartoum.